Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And the situation with Russia uh, and Ukraine is really uh, a situation that's being blown completely out of proportion. Uh, I was, of course, in, in briefings uh, yesterday evening, and in fact, uh, they were still waiting for the results of the meeting that had finished up at 4 p.m. Eastern time between Vladimir Putin and that uh, the president of Russia and the president uh, Biden of the United States. And I know the consensus from Washington insiders, uh, in fact, very, uh, very uh, advisors to the president uh, regarding Russia was that they were very concerned about how this meeting may go, whether or not uh, Biden would end up creating more of a critical situation uh, with Russia that is really unwarranted. And all the talk about building up Russian military, building up to take Ukraine, I was told is completely fab uh, fabricated. None of that is actually true. It's only being made to look that way uh, for whatever their political purposes are. And then Syrian Girl put out, uh, uh, put Fox's uh, Senator Wicker out there and what he's saying here. And I'd like for you to hear this because the senator is actually talking about nuking Russia on, on uh, live television. Listen to this right here. Action. Uh, well, military action uh, could mean uh, that, that we stand off with our ships in the Black Sea and, and we rain destruction on, uh, on, mil on, on Russian military capability. It could mean that. It could mean that we participate. And I would not rule that out. I would not rule out American troops on the ground. We don't, do you know, we don't rule out uh, first use nuclear uh, action. Uh, well, military action uh, could mean uh, that we don't rule out first use nuclear action. You know, I mean, this is just very irresponsible for a senator on live television talking about nuking a country. And, uh, you know, Russia could have been a really great ally for the United States, but unfortunately, they have been so demonized that it's just it's just really taken a very very serious turn. But uh, as I was told, though, by the uh, president's advisor uh, uh, on uh, you know regarding Russian relations, you know that ninety percent of the time, what you see in the news is completely false when it comes to Russia. This is just all smoke and mirrors. But uh, at, at, at any rate there, it, I, I was told to, as well, there, there, there was uh, the Mossad uh, organization was in Washington this week and uh, they had uh, paid visits to a friend of mine uh, there discussing the issue about Russia. And Russia is no longer considered a threat to Israel. That's according to Mossad. Uh, they do not consider Russia a threat to the security of the state of Israel. If anything, they said that Russia has become the biggest black market supplier of any type of goods and weapons that you could possibly want in the world. And that's really the only thing that Russia is doing now. They just have become a black market supplier to the highest bidder. Uh, but they do not consider Russia a threat. And um, so the situation with Russia is just, I think we should downplay uh, a little bit. We don't need to, to look at it as much as, as, a, as of a threat. Uh, I, I do know, though, that we had uh, discussed before that, that China, we know, is supposed to take Taiwan right around Christmas time from Christmas and New Year's. And Russia, I did ask the question because I said Russia has moved their uh, supersonic missiles over to the Creel Islands there. Uh, and that seems to be in response to a possible uh, China taking down Taiwan and 
you know, Russia pretty much holding the back door in the event the United States makes a move from Japan. So that that uh, that uh, that idea is a, a very real possibility, and uh, but I also was told that it has more to do though with Japan itself directly, Russia putting these missiles on the Kuril Islands there, that uh, Russia has issues with Japan as well as China has issues with Japan, but China in, in reality though is vying to take over the entire Pacific region, and. Taiwan is just the, the first stop along the way, then the Philippines, and then after the Philippines, then uh, South Korea. That'll be the next move that China does in order to push the United States out of the, the, uh, the Pacific region there. So, And then Russia, too, wants to make sure that they have their own stake in that area. Uh, I, I was told, though, that we can expect to see, though, Nations in the near future, and this is one of the reasons why we're going to see the different types of wars that we're going to see, uh, are, are more so battling for territory to be able to grow food because uh, we're having so, so much turmoil on the earth from different uh, issues, whether it be cosmic, uh, volcanic, etc., that this is one of the reasons why there's going to be a lot of wars over land. And it is, China is still poised to try to attack the United States in 2024, late 2024. And, uh, but the assessment of Russia being involved, I've been told, may, may have to circle back and relook at that. Originally, it, it appeared to be that Russia would actually somewhat help China uh, when it comes to taking out assets on our East Coast. But that may be changing. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Another thing that was uh, shared with me, though, too, is that uh, Israel is still on track to build the third temple. That that is coming under uh, Bennett's administration. That that is not going to change. That we can expect to see that. And of course, then also uh, these volcanoes and earthquakes and things like that are just going off like crazy all over the place, especially off the coast of Oregon. There was a swarm of earthquakes that took place there, as you can see. Uh, in fact, yesterday when I first reported, was going to report this, uh, I was looking at it, and now, and I've got my, my set at 4.0 or higher, and look at just hundreds of these things. Uh, unbelievable number of earthquakes there off the coast there of Oregon. Uh, and of course, that's an interesting aspect because one of the things that I was told is that there is coming a major earthquake that they're anticipating uh, by the end of next year sometime. It'll be uh, off the coast of the United States. I think it's the East Coast, though, rather than the West Coast, and that it is to create a fissure that will open up the seafloor between the seafloor on this part of the planet and that of the inner oceans uh, which, well, maybe if you check out on Patreon, we'll go into that over there. That's one of those things that we talk about, some very strange things that happen. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so there's some really weird things that are anticipated to be happening there. I'll share that with you over on Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, we did do a, uh, I redid the video I had done yesterday there about Planet X 2029 uh, and what the government's official response is on Planet X. A little bit confusing, uh, but you might might find the, uh, the the broadcast interesting there. So I'm Steve Benoon. We're watching. You're watching Israeli News Live. Pray for our family. So our family has just been very very sick here lately. Uh, I'm finally coming out myself. Still a little bit cloudy in my my head though with all this uh, stuff going on. And uh, my wife, my father-in-law, still both very sick, uh, have been for quite some time. So please keep our family in prayer. We appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you for your support of this ministry as well. IsraeliNewsLive.org is our website there. 
uh, if God lays upon your heart to support the work we do, Danoon Institute, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872, or just click right there and donate online. We appreciate your your love and kindness. And I'm going to be actually writing letters to people, uh, sending letters out to people that have been supporting us via mail as well. So thank you for your love.